Posterized time is found under the time category and it's uh, an effect that shows up a lot in my workflow. I've set up a, just a very basic animation of my logo so that we can see how it affects the animation. If I apply the posterized time effect to my layer, we're gonna get one control, which is frame rate. And that's what this effect allows us to do. Artificially adjust the frame rate of whatever it's applied to. So I'm working at 30 frames per second. If I change this to half of that, 15 frames per second, and play it back, my animation is now at half that frame rate. And to make this even a little bit more apparent, I'm gonna shut that off for a second, zoom in and add a turbulent displace. Turn the size all the way down to a minimum of two, maybe turn the amount up just so we can really see that textured edge, and then add an expression under the evolution options on this random seed value. I'll just alt or option click on that stopwatch, and then down here type random, and then 10,000. So what this is going to do is generate a random value on every frame of my composition between a value of zero and 10,000. And that will vibrate the edge of that turbulent displace. If I play this back, we have this really fast, smooth animation on both the logo reveal as well as that textured edge. But if I drag that posterized time effect below the turbulent displace and enable it again, now we can see everything is going much slower. And I could even cut this in half again, go 7.5 frames per second. And even though my comp is still at 30 frames per second, my animation is playing back at 7.5 frames per second. Now you might be wondering why am I working at 30 frames per second and not 24? And it's because my screen recordings and these YouTube videos are at 30 frames per second. So I'm just doing that for consistency. But more often than not, I would be working at 24 frames per second. And in most cases, I'd be using the posterized time effect to just half that, to give me 12 frames per second to make it look a little bit more hand animated rather than computer generated. And while this isn't an expressions tutorial, I do want to point out really quickly that there's an expression called posterized time, which is really useful for changing the frame rate of specific properties. So I'm going to turn posterized time off for a second, go back to that random seed value and edit that expression one more time. I'm gonna leave the random 10,000, but just before it, I'm going to add another line and type posterize, and there's our autofill posterize time. And in between these parentheses is the frame rate, just like this effect over here. So let's say that I want the animation to play back at 24 frames per second, but I want that texture to update only every six frames. I'll just type a six right there, finish this line with a semicolon and add a semicolon to the random as well, click off and play it back. Now that texture is only going to update at a rate of six frames per second, even though my animation is playing back at 24. But that's posterized time in a nutshell. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.